depending on its properties and purpose for which the object is used so in this example what material we chose a glass a plastic or a stainless steel to make a glass depending on the properties what were the properties considered hardness of the substance and purpose was what was the purpose of the object to drink water so if we make a glass with a cloth the cloth cannot hold water all the water will drain out so because the cloth is not hard in consistency the cloth is very soft that is why the glass was made up of glass or plastic or metal because of the hardness of the substance so in this example the property which was considered was hardness so same way property is important for their usage the properties which determine which materials have to be used on a clean general notion are appearance of the object hardness of the object or solubility of the object so to make any object we have to consider the properties of that object and the purpose for which the object is to be used so here what properties we will study for properties important for their usage what properties we will study are appearance hardness and solubility we will study these are the properties of the materials required so properties important for their usage are appearance hardness and solubility so moving coming to appearance many materials look different from each other appearance means appearance means what you see with eyes the first thing what you observe to any material with your eyes the first sight of the material gives you the appearance of that object so we can say that materials look different from each other example wood wood is brownish in color if you should touch wood it will be very hard in consistency same way iron copper aluminum all these will be different in colors and different to touch some will be hard some will be very soft like that so there is a difference in the form difference in the appearance of wood iron copper and aluminum they look different from each other the color the state the shape everything may vary but still we can say that iron copper and aluminum may look similar because they are at metals whereas wood is not a metal that is why we can say that these three will at least have similarity in some thing some appearance but wood will be completely different so suppose if the match the following or choose the correct answer if they give you four different materials and ask you to find the odd one out if they give you wood iron copper aluminum find the odd one out you should tell wood is the odd one out because if these three are metals they may look little bit similar their properties may be similar but wood is completely different so if you give you a four example and ask you to find out the odd one out you should tell wood so now you understood right so the appearance is the materials look different from each other here we have said that appearance the look of the materials then we get one more property is shine or luster if we see any substance through our eyes the substances will be shining sometimes the material shine or luster is nothing but the shiny glossy appearance of that object so shine or luster is nothing but the shimmer shimmer or the glow of that object so freshly cut surfaces of some materials look shiny if sometimes iron is being cut if you observe in any construction site they will be cutting iron rods for the purpose of construction of pillars like that so when you observe a freshly cut iron rod a surface where it was cut looks shiny whenever sunlight falls on it it looks shiny so we can say that freshly cut surface of some materials appear shiny example we can say iron rods so iron rods when they are cut on the machines they look shiny so and next materials when rubbed against the sand paper show luster if any metal you take and rub on a sand paper what is sand paper it is a paper like thing it is available in yellow color and black color it has small small sand like particles attached to it it has a rough surface so when you rub any metal onto that surface so that metal that layer will look shiny in appearance luster it will have so iron copper aluminum gold when you rub on a sand paper they will look lustrous that means the surface will be shiny so we can say materials when rubbed with sand paper show luster and examples we can say iron copper aluminum and gold any of your gold ornament you can take rub it on a sand paper and you can see the surface shiny the place where it was rubbed so that is again an appearance of a object 
that is again appearance of the object that is the shine or luster feature it is showing so metals lose their shine and appear appear dull because of the action of air and moisture on them but still these substances iron copper aluminum gold because they are always in contact with the atmosphere atmosphere means in the atmosphere air will be there moisture will be there moisture is nothing but water content so in the atmosphere always around us there will be air as well as water content in the form of moisture so whenever these objects come in contact with the air and moisture they lose their shine so that is the reason they appear dull so metals lose their shine and appear dull because of the action of moisture on them so one more example i can tell you ships you know no iron ships which float in the seas and oceans because iron ships which are always in contact with water because in the seas and oceans ships will be there those ships will be made up of iron but that iron is not shiny it is brownish rust in color why because that iron is always in contact with water of the ocean or sea if it is in contact with the water of the water of the sea it will lose its luster and color and shine so we can take an example of iron ships are made up of iron iron loses its luster because of the because of the water content of the oceans and thereby it loses its shine that is why the old and ships ships will become old over a period of time look brownish in color rusted because of the presence of moisture and air so the next property of any material is hardness so if we press any material with hand some will be easy to compress that means it will lose its shape and structure and become soft whereas some may be hard to compress that means even if you press that material it will not change any shape or size so that is the difference that is the hardness of the material suppose it is not much hard it is soft it will be easily compressed that means it will be easily lose its shape and structure and will become soft whereas some materials are so hard that even if you press tightly also they will not lose its shape or size so that is the hardness same way some materials can be scratched easily and some materials cannot be scratched suppose if you take your key your bike key or your vehicle key and take a chalk piece and you start scratching you can scratch the chalk piece right whereas if you scratch the same key with the aluminum aluminum means any aluminum vessel or any aluminum almara in your house cupboard or if you scratch that metal key with a stone or else if you can scratch the metal key to any iron nails on the walls then you cannot scratch easily whereas if you scratch the metal key with wood chalk piece then if you can scratch it on a candle candle is made up of wax it is soft soft in consistency right so you can easily scratch the candle so that is how some materials can be scratched easily and some materials cannot be scratched easily scratch means rubbing rubbing against each other so scratch a metal key with aluminum Can you can you scratch the aluminum no then chalk piece you can scratch the metal key on a chalk piece yes then on a wood yes then on stone can you scratch the metal key no then candle candle is soft in consistency made up of wax then you can scratch a key with a candle then can you scratch a key with a nail nail means iron nails which are harder in consistency no right like that some materials can be scratched and some materials cannot be scratched so materials we can say that materials which can be scratched easily or compressed easily are known as soft materials so what are the definition what is the definition of soft material soft is nothing but the hardness hardness soft and hard are the hardness characteristics of that material so the material which can be compressed easily or scratched easily is known as the soft material and materials which cannot be compressed easily are called as hard materials so basic common sense not very tough right so which can be compressed or scratched easily are soft examples can be cotton or sponge so those are softer in consistency you can press them same way materials which cannot be compressed or scratched easily are called hard so example iron iron is very hard even if you press hardly also you cannot change the shape same way iron cannot be scratched easily it is very hard in consistency so this is about the hardness of the materials so moving on to next property that is solubility solubility means able to mix or not soluble is nothing but the capacity of mixing with other substances so solubility means whether the 
substance is soluble or insoluble that means whether the substance is able to mix with water or whether the substance is not able to mix with water so that is the solubility so substances which dissolve completely so substances which dissolve completely means mix completely with water or disappear in the water disappear means no longer visible no longer we cannot see that we cannot see that material anymore with our eyes that is the meaning of disappear so substances which dissolve completely or disappear in water completely are known as soluble so any substance which with any substance which mixes with water and is no longer visible is soluble substance substances which do not disappear with water or do not mix with water are insoluble so it is the opposite of soluble substances which do not mix with water and do not disappear do not disappear means we can still see the substance they do not disappear with water or do not mix with water are known as insoluble substances so you can take any substance in a glass of water you can mix it or stir it mixing is nothing but stirring s t i r stir it and you can observe whether that substance is whether that substance mixes in water or not for some substances you have to keep mixing or for 5 or 10 minutes and wait for some time and observe so if you mix salt or sugar in water while making lemon juice it mixes and disappears with water right so salt and sugar are soluble substance then chalk powder chalk powder is whitish in color so when you mix chalk powder with water it also mixes and dissolves completely in water then vinegar vinegar is used in making chinese specialty dishes like noodles manchuria etc so vinegar also dissolves completely in water vinegar is a transparent liquid like water then lemon juice lemon juice also dissolves completely in water so all these substances can be termed as soluble substances which completely mix with water and disappear with water whereas sawdust what is sawdust suppose if any in you see in any timber depot what is timber depot timber depot is place where wood is cut for the purpose of furniture so where wood is cut you will see small small pieces of wood and dust came coming out from big logs of wood that is nothing but sawdust when you cut wood on a machines you get small small pieces of wood that is nothing but saw dust so saw is nothing but a blade like thing used for cutting wood so when you cut wood with the saw you get small some small small pieces of wood that is called saw dust so when you mix saw dust with water it doesn't dissolve completely saw dust absorbs water because it is wood wood absorbs water saw dust absorbs water but doesn't dissolve with water then sand if you have ever been to beaches river side sea side you see sand beds you see sand on the surfaces so you can say that sand does not doesn't dissolve in water even if you take a glass of water and dissolve sand it will go and mix easily but you can still see the sand particles it doesn't disappear with water so sand also doesn't dissolve in water mustard oil coconut oil kerosene all these things are different types of oils when you mix these substances with oils they do not mix with water why because the weight of these oils and the weight of the water is different these are known as the non polar substances and water is known as a polar substance so non polar and polar substances do not dissolve in each other because this weight of these things and weight of water is different weight means density so the density of the oils and density of the water doesn't match these things are non polar things water is a polar thing so oils do not dissolve in water never dissolve in water they only float in the water so we can say all these things are insoluble substances sawdust that is wooden dust sand in the beaches different types of oils mustard oil coconut oil kerosene all these are insoluble substances so here we have spoken about liquids which were soluble and insoluble same way there are gases also which are soluble in air or water so as we know as we know that the atmosphere around contains different types of gases in this atmosphere the air is a mixture of many gases so the animals or the plants which live under the water like fishes whales dolphins and aquatic plants are also there hydrilla and many plants are there which live under water how do they survive how do they get oxygen because in the water oxygen is present in the dissolved form that dissolved oxygen 
helps the aquatic plants and animals to survive. So, solubility of gases. Water has small quantities of gases dissolved in it. Agree, right? Then oxygen gas dissolved in the water is important for aquatic plants and animals. Aquatic means living in the water, below the water. So, dissolved oxygen in the water gives gives life support for the plants and animals to survive. So, this is the solubility of liquids. This is the solubility of gases. Liquids which dissolve completely with water are soluble. Liquids which do not dissolve completely with water are insoluble substances. And these are the examples of the liquid substances which are soluble and which are insoluble. So this is about the hardness and solubility. Let's move on to the next property.